So after traveling the rest of the South American continent, we decided to go on a real adventure in Antofagasta. We were on a witch hunt for the Mano del Desierto. There's no public transport to this destination, so what are two girls to do? We got a taxi. Stay safe girls, never ever hitchhike. And then we arrived, and this is what we found. We're on a journey around the world, but where will we go next? Subscribe and follow our journey. We might even surprise you as much as we've surprised ourselves. Ah! We're here at Mano del Desierto in Chile, in Antofagasta, and Lydia is annoying Billy. We've just found uh, another person from England and we're now going to take some beautiful pictures for our Instagram. See you in a minute! Lydia is very happy. She wants to go in the water, but if you look at these waves, look how strong it is. That would be really, really dangerous to go into that water. Like, oh my goodness, you, you can't go into that water. Did you see those waves? So, this is just somewhere to come and look at the Portada. It's one of the most famous things here. So we're just going to take some more photos for our Instagram and I think that's it. This is a place that you visit, but you don't, this isn't a beach. So these are the two things that we're doing in Antofagasta and it is, it is pretty beautiful, look. Central. We're in the central square of Antofagasta. This clock is really, really famous. And they have a beautiful white church over here, which I'm going to show you now in photo. It's really, really beautiful. It's worth just coming here and just sitting around. We have a free day today, so we're just going to wander around and then we're going to get the bus in the evening to Santiago. Lobos marinos. Sea lions. Lobos marinos. I just want to say, for me personally, I have enjoyed Antofagasta a lot more than San Pedro de Atacama. On the other hand, when we were in Bolivia and we travelled like to uni and we did Salade uni from the Bolivian side, that was amazing. I was really happy. What I would suggest, because I've spoken to a few people now, I suggest if you're going to come to this region, Go to Bolivia and do Salada Uni, take a three or four day tour with older children because 
I don't think they'll let you do it with young, young children. But this is advice for backpackers. And then come in, to, arrive in San Pedro de Atacama and then leave and come to Antofagasta. Because Bolivia is, first of all, it's probably a third of the price that you'll pay in Chile and you will see everything. So it works out an awful lot cheaper from the Bolivian side doing the same activities. And then, oh my goodness, then just come to Antofagasta because I really, I really, really enjoyed being here. But I have to admit, when you first arrive, especially if you arrive in bus, when you walk past everything, because we walked to our hostel, it looks like a really poor town. It looks, it looks like a bit of a slum. But then when you actually walk around and you start looking at things, I just three or four days, th three days probably is more than enough here. But it's just absolutely wonderful. And seeing those sea lions has made me really happy. It's made my day. And that's about it. We are going back to Santiago tonight. So we will see you there. And uh, that's it. See you next week. Ciao. Lydia. Salut, ciao! <laughs>